Yo, what is up guys? Welcome in the second episode of Beat Grinding in Reaper series on the Bozo Beats channel. Today we're gonna talk about plugins and groups of plugins for making beats in Reaper. Before we start, a quick explanation for current FL Studio users. Most of you are probably used to having lots of instruments on board. You know, Harmor, Citrus, Sakura, lots of things. But in Reaper, you have to build your sound library on your own. Reaper doesn't have any instruments built in besides the Resynth, which is a really, really simple synthesizer, which can't do anything uh, more complicated really. But let's have a look at the Replugs. Replugs are the built-in Reaper plugins, which are the older versions you can see right here. Uh, they don't look fancy, they look really simple, they look a little bit like from Windows 98 or 95. These images were certainly shot on Windows XP as you can see. But let's move into my Reaper. Uh, for the viewers that weren't watching the previous episode, I'm using the iLogic Free theme for Reaper, which looks like Logic a little bit. The download link to it uh, is in the pinned comment, in the comment section down below. Okay, so I've made a new track and I click the FX button and here I click the Cocos. And here we have all the Reaper's plugins. So here you have everything you need really, uh, starting from compressors, which have a bunch of presets you can use for your existing sounds. Of course, you have the EQ, which is the re-EQ. The best feature is that you can add as much bands as you like. We can, let's see how many we can make. As you can see, I've made 60, 70 bands and you, you don't even need that much bands. And another great feature is that you can scale this EQ and uh, make some precise movements uh, like scoping, for example, this 2K in a very precise way. I like the fact that you can just make it full screen, which uh, isn't possible in all the EQs I've been using before. Here we have a Regate, which is a pretty advanced uh, gating plugin. You can gate some unwanted sounds out uh, with this plugin. Repitch, which I used a lot, uh, is a standard pitch plugin. You can shift the sounds in uh, by the full range, by sends, by semitones, by octaves. Uh, by formants, which is a great option. Another interesting plugin is the Retune, which looks like that, but here is the tab where you can uh, enter the data uh, from your vocals, and it works really similar to Melodyne or Waves Tune, so you can easily tune the vocals if someone just uh, can't sing. Reverb plugin, which is pretty interesting because you can generate any reverb you like. For example, you click Reverb Generator and you can manipulate all the parameters here, like room size, dampening, stereo width. Rhea Samplomatic 5000, which I used in the previous episode, uh, is a built-in Reaper sampler, which is really, really useful if you're making beats in Reaper. And here is the Rhea synth I've told you about. It just has a few oscillators and ADSR, and that's it. What you also have uh, built-in into Reaper are JS plugins. And here you have like, a huge, huge amount of plugins you can use. For example, the 1175 compressor, spectrum analyzers, a bunch of MIDI tools, saturation modules, view meter, soft clipper, choruses, expander. And here is my favorite, which is Paranoia Mangler. Uh, it's a kind of distorting plugin with built-in beat crusher. I'm definitely gonna make another video about the Reaper's plugins itself, including the JS plugins. But now let's move to the number two. Number two is a really, really well-known plugin, uh, which is the RX Band 2. This plugin is a Rompler which is a shortcut for ROM player. And a ROM player is a plugin that plays samples and you can manipulate these samples in the way you like. Here we have some pads. We have lots of leads. Lots of organs, church organs, jazz organs, Hammond. Lots of strings and orchestral sound. And my favorite ones are the mallet. Some basses, synth ones and live ones. Percussive sound. And even full drum set.
In one sentence, it's worth every penny. Uh, it costs around 10 bucks and uh, it's often uh, on some deals and it, you can buy it for one pound or one dollar or something like that. There was a time in my producer career when I was using only this plugin for all the instruments in the beat. Here you can see it's below 13 dollars now and sometimes as I said before you can uh, buy it even even much cheaper. The next plugin is also from Air Music Technology and it's hybrid free. Most of you probably know it. You can get it for five dollars and it's a synth with two layers uh, and three oscillators for each layer and it's got really really cool presets so if you don't know how to program your own sounds you can start with lots of cool sounds <laughs> cool arps arpeggio It's got lots of cool pads. And I almost forgot about the bells. So with this plugin, which is usually discounted the same as Xpand, and with the Xpand ex itself, uh, you can make almost every sound you need to start. Number four is the Isotope Iris 2. And now you are probably thinking, what the heck, man? It was supposed to be cheap. And hell yeah, it is, because it costs uh, like $12 now. Isotope Iris is a synth based on samples, which means it doesn't create sounds on its own, but it treats samples like it was a synthesizer. So let me show you a few sounds. If you like uh, some spacious vibes, ambient vibes, this plugin is definitely for you. Let's uh, check out some pads. of cool basses. most important thing that besides those presets and those samples which Isotope gave us, you can pretty much put here any sample you like and just manipulate it in lots of ways. Hey man, it's the middle of the video. Please hit the thumbs up and leave the subscription with all the notifications and let's go to another plugin. Number five is the Isotope Vinyl. It's a free plugin available on the Isotope's website. You can just uh, go here, type in your email address and you will get the plugin for free. Here is the plugin itself. Uh, here you can choose the year of the vinyl, which is really cool. It just adds those different uh, filtering options. Here is the vinyl itself. So basically here is the year knob, which which adds those different filter options. I like this one. It's like the most vinylish, the oldest one. Here you have the rub def, which adds this variety in the pitch. Here you have the scratch fader, and you can make some scratches, like the sound is crackling a little, a little bit. Here is the dust knob. You just add some uh, more different cracks. Here is the mechanical noise. It adds this electrical buzz. Here is the whir. It just filters out more of the high end. And the mechanical noise, which is this vinyl hum that lots of people just love. And there are different wrapping models, so it can change the pitch in some different ways. And the spin down feature, it's great. Plugin number six is the Epic Verb from the Variety of Sound. This is one of my favorite free reverbs I have. Uh, you can make 
lots of lots of cool stunts with it. You have a ton of presets for it. Let's check out, for example, the small concert one. Let's turn the knob more to try side. More reverb. Less reverb. Or just the reverb only. Good for instruments, good for vocals. As you can look at the presets, you don't even have to uh, look at all these knobs if you don't know what they do, if you don't know anything about the filters here and how it affects the things. Honestly, I'm not even keen on reverbs a lot. And Variety of Sound has a lot of free plugins, which can be a great alternative for uh, Reapers built-in plugins if you don't like them. Uh, you have compressors, bass compressors, equalizers. Uh, my favorite one from a Variety of Sound um, is the Furic TDS. Uh, it's a tape limiter, which can also add some nice tape saturation to your mix. And you can use it on vocals, on drums, on uh, the master bus, anywhere you like. Next plugin is the free version of TDR Kotelnikov. It sounds a little bit Russian, right? It's a mastering compressor, but it can be used on vocals, on drums, anything you like. It even has some presets, which can really bring your uh, sound and dynamics to life. I'm not gonna explain all these things, all these features right now. I'm just gonna show you uh, one of the presets. Here you have the raw drums. And here we turn on uh, the drum bus smasher preset and it compressed these drums like a lot, a lot, a lot. For example, if you have drums with a lot of dynamic range, you can use it to compress them a little bit and add this extra punch. And the TDR stays for Tokyo Dawn Records and they also have lots of cool plugins, lots of paid ones, but some of them have free versions like TDR Nova, the Kotelnikov, the Sleek EQ, uh, and uh, I highly recommend downloading these free ones because they are absolutely fantastic. Nova is one of the best free equalizers I've used, so definitely check this one out. Sleek EQ is like more for adding some colors to your sound, but it's also but it's also really but it is also really really useful next one comrades this is molot which stays for hammer in russian it looks like some old school soviet uh type of gear i don't know uh i would see that kind of panel in some old school russian devices and this is a great great compressor especially as it comes adding attack to drums like snares kicks the whole bus is Let's just take a listen. Here we choose the drum bus plugin. We need to lower the threshold to make it work. And it's pumping the drums. I mostly have been using it on kicks, which were a little bit too uh, raw. And I just wanted to give them a decent punch. And now the last two things. Here we have the x Serum. It's not cheap. It costs like $200, but you can get it uh, for $10 a month on Splice, which I did. And Serum is a must have of every EDM producer. It's also really useful as it comes to designing your own sounds. It doesn't have lots of presets on its own, but uh, if you want to learn how to program your own sounds, this would be uh, a great thing since it's like a standard. Everyone knows Serum, a lot of people use Serum. You can exchange the presets with them. And you can make lots of dirty basses in it. You can even make some dot punk styled bass lines. It's like a guitar solo. So the only thing I want you to remember, advanced sound design equals serum. Another cool plugin package uh, are the plugins from Kajar... Kajar... I just don't know how to pronounce that. Charhius... Charhius... Charhius Audio, uh, which are really old. They are from 2005. 
uh, but they are fully functionable. They are of course uh, 32 bit. They are really, really lightweight, the same as the Reapers plugins. My favorite ones are the Chorus, I'm still using it, the Delay, which I'm using, and the Flanger and the Phaser, sometimes the Master Limiter, but only when I'm editing videos. And the last thing in this video are the plugins I use myself. Isotope, Nectar, Neutron uh, and Isotope Ozone. Nectar is a great tool as it comes to vocals, but not only, but I mostly use it for vocals. You can make pitch corrections, de you can compress, saturate, clean everything up, color the sound. You can even add some harmonies, you can add some uh, artificial voices, anything you need really as it comes to producing vocals. Isotope Neutron is a kind of mix slash mastering tool. I love the sculpture module which is an, a kind of adaptive EQ which is something between EQ and compressor at the same time. It can extract uh, lots of good stuff from your sounds. And the Ozone, which is a mastering tool, is a great thing as it comes to mastering your tracks and making them ready uh, for the audience. They are expensive, so I have them on Splice. Uh, the Ozone and Neutron Advanced are $28 and I am paying this for 25 months. And the Nectar itself is uh, $10 a month and it's also for 25 months. So I'm paying uh, almost $40 a month, but it's worth every single cent, trust me. You don't need to have it though, this is only my choice. These plugins just make lots of things easier and faster for me as a person who's working with lots of musicians and I need to have some things done much quicker because through the whole week I am mixing and mastering tracks, I am making beats, I am preparing the videos, I'm working like 10 hours a day. So for me personally, every minute counts. All the links to these plugins I mentioned are in the description down below. I know there are lots of free VSTs, you can check them out, you can look for them on the internet, but I mentioned only those which I liked and which I personally used uh, for my music production. If you just want to start making music in Reaper, without spending any money, just look for some free synths. Trust me, there are lots of synths online. There are lots of samples. I will make another episode about free plugins only. I will make another episode about free plugins only, so make sure you subscribe to the channel with all the notifications so you will get a chance to see the video. And what are your favorite plugins to make your music? Not necessarily in Reaper, but in any DAW. Leave your answer Leave your answers in the description down below. I hope I gave you some inspiration and a vision that you don't have to spend lots, lots of money. You can spend less than 20 bucks for Xpand and Hybrid and start making your music with really high quality sounds uh, and start playing with music overall. See you next week in another episode of Beat Grinding in Reaper. My name is Dominic, you are watching Bozu Beats and keep the good vibes alive.